hello there this is derek again and welcome back to the channel so in today's video i'm just going to be sharing with you the bugs or problems i have faced so far after installing android 12 right here so you see right here updated to android s meaning it's on android 12 so my phone which is google pixel 3 xl is running android 12 right here and after i installed this android 12 beta 1 i've experienced some bit of bugs and then problems and glitches i think and i want to share with you guys if you're facing the same problems you can share in the comment section so that i'll take a look at whatever is also going to pop up probably maybe what you are facing might pop up um on my phone too so if you're here consider subscribing don't forget to like the video share it to anyone you think this is going to be helpful to them and without further ado let's just dive into the video so first the bug or something i didn't really like about this os is when you try to launch an app you're gonna see the logo of the app pop up before the app just opens and it makes it look like the phone is kind of slow so you see right here it pops up the app logo pops up before it opens and i don't really like it i don't know about people but i think that is something i've noticed that it's slowing the app because you just need to hit it and then it just opens so this actually happens when you just launch the app first time but when you want to launch it later it doesn't come any longer but initially on android 11 it wasn't like that you just tap on the app and it opens right away but this one it just lags a bit and then you're going to see the app's logo before it opens so that is one thing i think they need to check on this and again um someone tried sending me a message right here on my message app and when a person sends the message, I tried reading it with a bubble right here on the screen and everything went blank. So I had to restart the UI, system UI, and I had to just make everything work again. So I had to force close the messaging app and everything was able to work. But I wasn't even able to just touch anything on the screen when the bubble was on and everything turned dark. And that was something I didn't really like about it. So I think maybe that one also needs to be checked. And if you're also facing the same problem, just let me know in the comment section. Who knows, Android team might be watching this video and yeah, they will just get things fixed. And again, one thing I also found was um, when I had a notification on my screen like this and I was trying to just scroll down and, and another notification popped up again and I had a screen like this. The screen turned like this, even though I wasn't turning dark mode, but it was kind of switching from dark mode to light mode like this when a notification pops up that was how i was seeing it and i think that is one thing i was facing and i don't know if there's someone who is watching this video facing the same problems or you're trying to um, install android 12 on your device just let me know when you face these problems after you install this os so i think these are the only problems i've found so far using this phone because this is my daily driver i've been using this phone for a long time i think a year and a half close to two years and I've been able to just notice everything that is going wrong on this phone. So I installed the Android 12 and these are the problems I have faced so far on this phone. And if you want to install this OS, I have a link in my description, which is going to guide you and help you install this Android on your device. And trust me, aside everything, um, this Android OS right here, Android 12, which is Android S, is very, very cool. It has good features. I have a video I'm going to link in the description so that you can also know the, the features and then how they work too. If you like it, you can just go ahead and then install it. Because apart from all these few things I have mentioned, everything works perfectly. The music works perfectly. The notification bar panel, you see everything right here. You can just switch like this and then you can have a screenshot right here. Everything works perfectly. It's so, so cool that you're gonna like. So if you wanna have a feel of whatever you're seeing right here, you can just tap on the video in the description and then you just download your OS and then you enjoy yourself. But there are restrictions. It's only now open to only users with Google Pixel and then Xiaomi, some Xiaomi users and then some asus users too so if you are not on these phones you can just go to the page which i'm going to leave the video in the description like i said and then you check out if your phone is eligible to just download this OS because it has a lot of good stuff you're going to like and yeah so if this was helpful just give it a thumbs up and then just like the video share to anyone you think this is going to be helpful to them and i'm going to catch you in the next video peace